What's up guys, McKnight Observations here, reporting in with some gains. I'm uh, going to show you the shake I've been making after work, uh, a while before I work out to kind of, you know, give me my energy back. I know some of you guys are working manual labor jobs, and you're tired, but we've got to get after those gains, so uh, let's get into it. Alright, I've pre-laid everything out here for you guys, so if you just want to stop the video here and jam all this into a blender, you don't even need to watch the rest of the video. Because I absolutely hate watching a 7 minute video on 30 seconds of protein shake. But since you decided to stick around, we're going to start. Pro tip, pre-wet the uh, bottom of your tiny blender with just a little bit of oat milk so your ingredients won't stick to the bottom. Uh, if you got a Vitamix, uh, you probably don't need to be watching this video anyway, you probably know what you're doing. Uh, but there you go. So up next we got, boom, full scoop. Oh, I'll have to clean that up. Of protein powder. I'm using Ghost Coconut Vegan. Uh, using vegan protein powder because whey protein will destroy my digestive system. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but you don't have to use vegan. You know, use whatever protein powder you want. But uh, the shake, it does make the shake vegan. So, I can put that in the title. All right, up next, a heapy scoop of uh, peanut butter. Oh, God. Sorry, I was distracted. I was trying to get this off. I'm going to scrape that off. Just so you know, the thickness of this shake is directly proportional to the amount of peanut butter you use. All right, I'm going to chop slash tear up this banana and put it in there. This is about a, it's a pretty small banana. Uh, you know what? This is a, this is a good sized banana, guys. Don't, this is a pretty good banana. This is a huge banana, actually. Don't, what am I talking about? Again, if you have a super sick large blender and not a child's blender like I have, uh, this won't be a big deal. Just jam the whole banana in there. But, uh, you know. We, uh, we, we make do with what we got here at uh, McKnight Observations Headquarters. All right, so now I'm going to... Uh, oh, let's switch hands here. Oh, good Lord. All right, we're going to ignore the camera here. Oh! Nice! Excellent! That's one cup of oat milk. You can use other milks. I just use oat milk because, again, regular milk will destroy my insides. If you're not a coffee person, don't add this last part. This is simply because I have a chemical dependency I need to stop, uh, you know, feeding. And uh, also because I'm tired, I'm after, it's after work, and uh, I need a little, little extra caffeine. There's one packet of Folgers Classic Roast Tostado Classico, as the kids say. Uh, just a little instant coffee. If you have a baby boy blender, you're going to want to blend this for approximately two hours, so I recommend... Just starting the blend and then uh, maybe hop in the shower since you just got off work or so. <laughs> it's not that bad, but, uh, you know, uh, blend time is uh, to preference. Come on! Now for the pour. Oh, let me uh, switch hands here. Pardon me. Oops, the camera. Nice! Oh, yeah. That's good right there. Delicious. Now, uh, pro, uh, macros and calories are going to be variable depending on uh, what brand of ingredients you use. But uh, my estimation, it's like at least 400 uh, calories and like at least 30 grams of protein, which is really great. If you're like me and you struggle to get any amount of food down at all times of the day uh, and you're a hard gainer, if you will, a hard gainer. Because that's a thing, I guess. Uh, and you struggle. This is a. This just really helped me. I can fan this out uh, really quickly. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, boys. Woo! That's the video. Thank you. Bros, hope everyone's doing well. Alright, we didn't get the whole thing in one gulp, but that would have been pretty epic. <laughs>